Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a project on Scorekeeper using JavaScript. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a VS Code editor and some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS to create the interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is the HTML file. This is the basic structure of HTML over here. And uh, you can see I have attached the style, sh uh, style sheet and the bootstrap file in the head tag. Now let's move to the body section. Over here I have attached this image uh, which I have taken from the net. And uh, under that there is a paragraph tag which says ping pong scorekeeper. And then I have the scores of the players. Uh, which have the classes as player1 score and player2 score respectively. Then there is this select tag which have the values as 5, 7, 11, 15 and 21. And then uh, uh, we have three buttons over here. The first button is to increase the uh, player1 points and uh, second button is for to increase the player2 points and to reset the points. Uh, and uh, beneath that I have attached the JavaScript file which is named as uh, main.js now let's move to the style sheet uh, okay this uh, you can play around with all this all these properties and uh, let me show you how this looks okay this is the interface uh, you can play around with all the properties over here in the CSS file and make uh, it even more beautiful now let's move to the javascript file okay these are the variables which are declared for the player one the uh, initial score will be zero and it will be uh, stored in this variable score one this uh, variable is uh, for the button okay dot player one is for the button button class and uh, player one score is for the score of player one okay so uh, similarly these three variables are also declared for player two okay and uh, these two variables are also uh, present game over which is initially false and input is uh, this is for the select tag okay so it will have a list of all the values and the selected one will be stored in this variable input there is this uh, button reset so we also have this variable reset over here okay using the query selector method uh, you can add the class over here and have the values uh, to play around with the properties uh, using this variable okay now there is this uh, simple method score increment uh, which have this value score as input this is the parameter and it will return the uh, this same value with the plus one okay by, uh, by increasing just one value so if you input two it will return three okay now there is this button disable okay it will have two parameters winner and loser what it will do that uh, okay this is the variable for the button so it will add the uh, using this method this uh, add method and uh, using this dot class list uh, we'll be adding disable to it okay so the button will be disabled on calling this method disable okay this player one button and the player two button will be disabled and uh, then the winner dot style okay will be uh, adding the parameters over here which will be the scores okay will be uh, passing the scores over here so scores dot style dot color the winner will have the green and the loser will have the red color okay similarly there's enable button okay we'll remove this classes over here the disabled one so to enable the button and uh, initially uh, the colors of uh, the scores of both the players will be black okay now uh, let's jump to the resetting 
button okay the score one and score two variable are set to zero and to change the html we'll be using this property inner html and then we'll be calling enable button and changing the variable game over to false okay now uh, using this variable game over we'll have the uh, functionality uh, for the buttons okay uh, this is for the player one button we'll add the event on click listener to this button okay this function will run when the button will be clicked so the score one variable will have uh, uh, will store this value okay this method will return uh, the uh, score the uh, at one increment score okay then uh, this if else uh, sorry this if uh, block will run okay if game is not over then uh, increase the value okay the, the changed value change the value of the html to the score one okay player one score this is the class and uh, it will have this value score one okay and if the value will be equal to input dot value input is our select so if the user has selected five so on clicking this button the first button if the value will be equal to our score then game over will set to true okay so this block cannot uh, run okay this if block it doesn't reach to this block and disable the uh the disable method is called and we'll be passing this player one okay uh so player one will be winner and player two will be the loser okay so this function calls this uh this particular event listener calls this method disable and uh, these few set of codes will run then similarly for the player two button we'll have this similar code okay but uh, we'll be passing the player to score over here okay so this will be the winner if this button is clicked the second button and if re if this uh, the score of the player 2 reaches to the input value okay uh, now there is this button reset button and we'll be calling this method resetting okay now let's run the program okay let's select 7 now we are increasing the values okay you can see the values are increasing and when one of the value reaches to 7 okay let's say player 2 so player 2 wins and this turns to green and this turns to red okay and you can see the buttons are also disabled and on pressing the reset the buttons are now enabled and this is uh, set to zero again i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas